Hey everyone, what is up? Welcome back to Seinfeld's Grand Theft Auto 3 100% guided walkthrough. And I'm just showing you here, uh, real quick, this vehicle that we will need to get uh, before starting this next mission. I mean, you can get it after you start the mission, but it just makes it so much easier to already have one. It's called the Yardi Lobo, and they are usually seen being driven around by the Yardies in the Newport area. I got this one right in front of the multi-story car park, you know, east of our safe house here in Staten Island. Uh, so make sure you uh, get this. I'm just kind of showing you all what it looks like from all angles. It's very noticeable by the uh, kind of cheetah print on the inside with the seats and all that other stuff with the fabric. Anyway, so once you have untaped one, go back down here to Kenji's marker to start Deal Steal. When trouble looms, the fool turns his back while the wise man faces it down. The Colombian cartel have ignored repeated requests to leave our interests in liberty well alone. Now they are negotiating terms with the Jamaicans in order to humiliate us further. They are finalizing a deal across town. Take one of my men, steal a Yardi car, and go pay your respects to the Colombians. Our honor demands that you leave no one alive! It's always about his honor, you know? Why not our... our honor. <laughs> anyway, so the cartel are expecting a Yardi, you know, so we had to steal one, but of course we already have it. Now all we have to do is go and pick up our contact. Now these vehicles I found to be very annoying, I guess you could say, because as you can see, you won't be able to turn the camera because it has hydraulics uh, installed on them. So yeah, just kind of have fun with this as you make your way all the way uh, north. And this is going to be, I think in the Rockford section where the hospital is, that parking lot. That's where our destination is, so I will see you when we get there. Wee! All right, uh, yep, yeah, well, actually, it's not that part just yet. I almost forgot. First, we actually had to pick up uh, one of our uh, Yakuza guys, and oh, 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 that scared me. I thought he was going to run him over. Anyway, uh, yeah, this is for part of the deal. So we just have to pick this guy up first, and then we'll be heading over to the, uh, what is it? The meeting is being held at Rockford parking lot in Rockford. Or the hospital parking lot in Rockford. Whatever. Anyway, so now it's just a quick drive up north from where we picked up our guy. And yes, if there's any Colombians nearby on the streets, they will be shooting at you. So here we go. Um, you can just, instead of going all the way around, just kind of go over this little grassy ramp. Be careful that the car does not tip over. That'd be the worst thing. So just go over here, stop in the marker. Now press the horn to get the deal going. L3. It is kind of a cutscene, but no one's really talking. So now we have to kill all the Colombians and destroy the vehicles. So as soon as you start firing, you know, just drive by, um, the arrows will start appearing. And then once all the Colombians are dead, your guy will run back in to the vehicle with you. But you still have to destroy the Colombian uh, or the cartel cruisers here. And also you see that there is that briefcase. Um, you will have to get out and pick it up. But of course, make sure all the guys are dead. What I'm doing is just making sure all the other arrows are gone. There we go, there's one, and there is two. So now that that's gonna blow up, it's gonna kinda get away from that. There we go, pick up the briefcase, and now we have to take the briefcase all the way back down to the casino. Let him get in, once he's in. Well, actually, I really don't think it matters if he's in or not. Uh, either way, I'm just gonna go ahead and head all the way back down south to the, uh, was it Torrington area? Neighborhood? To uh, drop off the briefcase. All right, so once again, see you all there. Okay, here we go, just right around this corner, and all, all I can say is that these Yardi Lobos, their handling is atrocious on this. It's like, they will spin out so easily, so be very careful with the driving. Um, now, what we do have to do is go down this ramp and all the way down here into the lower parking lot and stop at the marker. All right, and Claude will drop it off, and that will be it for that mission. We get $25,000 for passing it. Easy, right? Well, easy enough, I guess. I mean, hey, at least we're not, like, near death or anything. You know, you don't have to get out. Just do the drive-bys. Should have plenty of ammo from everything that we picked up with the Uzi. So now we're just going to get into uh, any of the vehicle down here. And uh, as you can see on the map, there is yet another Kinji mission that we have to do. But first, before that... Let's go to the stats to show that we will be at 51% towards 100% completion with 40 out of 73 missions passed. So that is it for this video, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed. Love you all. Peace out. Till next time. Adios.
All right, everyone. Well, I hope you liked that video. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Know what I mean? Know what I mean? Uh, if you want the next one in the series, then just click that top video right there. Or if you want some random video that YouTube put out for you, then click this bottom one right here. Uh, and of course, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And also hit that bell icon to know when a new video will be uploaded. So thank you all for watching and see you next time.